Have you been searching for information about Qigong? If you have, I can understand there's so much confusing information out there. So by the end of this video, I will clearly explain to you what is Qigong. My name is Daniel Lee, and my passion is to help you to optimize your health and wellness through quality Tai Chi and Qigong videos. Qigong has become a buzzword for health. It seems like every week there's articles and reports coming out about the health benefits of Qigong. But even students who come to me to learn Qigong can be confused about what it is. What is Qigong? I will offer you a basic definition, give you some context, and at the end of the video, I will answer one of the most commonly asked questions. My basic definition for Qigong is, Qigong is a health exercise for maintaining and improving health. It originated from traditional Chinese medicine. I can understand that for some, traditional Chinese medicine might sound foreign, so I'd like to address that. First, Qigong is becoming known worldwide for health and relaxation. That's why most of us are watching this video. Second, major health insurance companies such as Kaiser Permanente in the US are starting to pay for or partially reimburse people for Qigong classes. Why is this important? The health insurance companies are risk averse. They don't want to spend money unless they have to. So we know that when the health insurance companies are paying for Qigong, that there is something there, that it is effective, and that it is becoming a widely accepted and mainstream form of health exercise. Now let's talk about two types of Qigong to get some context. When you look for information about Qigong, there's so much confusing information out there. People talk about Taoist, Buddhist, or Confucian Qigong, or they talk about static and dynamic Qigong, or they talk about internal and external Qigong, or they talk about medical Qigong or martial arts Qigong. And this can be confusing even for people in the Qigong community. So I like to use a student-centered approach. Do you want to do a form of exercise? If the answer is yes, then we have Qigong exercise. Or do you want to do a form of meditation? If the answer is yes, then we have Qigong meditation. So there are two forms of Qigong, Qigong exercise or Qigong meditation. Qigong exercise can include movements or postures while standing, sitting, or lying. Just by doing the exercise, you get all of the health benefits. The health benefits can be for general health, for the organs or for parts of the body, or they can be for specific ailments. Qigong meditation has meditative techniques to increase the quality and amount of energy in your body. Now I'd like to address one of the most commonly asked questions about Qigong. Is Qigong religious? The answer is no. Modern Qigong is not religious. We can say that Qigong developed over two to 4,000 years ago in historical places and times in China, which included Taoism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. But that was two to 4,000 years ago. Today, Qigong is practiced by millions of people around the world from different cultures and religious backgrounds, or no religious background at all. So modern Qigong is not religious. Are there a few teachers and a few schools connected to religious communities? Yes, but that is not very common in today's modern world. Let's sum it all up. What is Qigong? Qigong is a health exercise for maintaining and improving health. It originated from traditional Chinese medicine. There are two types of Qigong, Qigong exercise and Qigong meditation. I hope that I have clearly explained for you what is Qigong. If you found the information to be valuable, please comment below. Your comments really help to inspire and to motivate me to create more valuable Taiji and Qigong content for you. To be sure to stay updated with my videos, please subscribe to my channel now. Thank you for watching, and I will look forward to connecting with you in the next video.